All right, welcome. It's the semifinals playoff basketball. And the Cavs Youth Basketball Association is ready. This is Josh Wins 13. Welcome. Bringing you playoffs for the Cavs. The Cavs come out of yesterday with a big win in dramatic fashion in overtime, beating the Soldiers. And now as the number five seed, they're going to be going against the Warriors Elite, the number one seed from the season. The Warriors had a first round. The Warriors also were the best defensive team in the regular season, holding their opponents to under 23 points per game. Cavs were the second best defensive team in the regular season, holding their, their opponents to about 28 points a game. You can see we're going through the warm-ups, the layup lines, getting ready to play. We see Brian. Brian had a huge game after coming back from a baseball tournament. Tied with Madden for a team-high eight points. Had a couple key steals, too. Jackson's five rebounds in the second half alone helped power the team to victory. And as we see Roman, you can't say enough about the two shots he made. One to give him the lead in regulation and the second to give him the final lead in overtime. Following with the steal. Big, big plays by Roman. And the Cavs won the game. We see Madden's arrived. Madden also tied with Brian for a team high eight points. Also had seven rebounds and four assists. Madden with a huge game yesterday. Want to say hi to everybody watching from home. You guys got to save the $10 per person admission fee. Want to welcome you guys. Want to say hi to my lovely wife, Layla, and Roman siblings, Dylan and Kaya, who I think are watching from home with Layla. We love you guys. I know there's other parents and grandparents and friends and family and able to watch from wherever you are. Welcome. We are a few minutes away from tip off. Just getting warmed up. The Cavs versus the Warriors. The winner will play next Saturday for the championship and they will play against the winner of these guys who are going to be playing at the exact same time. This is the Bulldogs and the Bearcats. We've played both of them already. Bearcats quite infamously. Bulldogs, we played them once, lost that game. So whichever one of those teams wins, we'll play whichever one of our teams wins. Hopefully that's us. That's what we're counting on at least. Coach has his assistant coach with him. Seeing how everybody's feeling. Not sure what we're going to do yet with the lineup. But welcome, everybody. Welcome. It was a really incredible game yesterday for those of you who watched. Cavs took a one point lead with seconds to go in the, in the regulation only to find it tied by the soldiers. Goes to overtime and then in a dramatic play, Roman got the go ahead basket and we went on to win. Boom. Gotta find our way to the spot. There's no good seating on the sideline, so we're kind of in a corner. Gonna, as usual, focus on the offensive side of things. Make sure we get the basket in the view. Everybody getting their layups in. Gotta do some right-handed layups. Gotta do some left-handed layups. Coach says you wanna play in high school, you gotta make your left-handed layups. That's one of the first things they look for. You pretty much get ruled out immediately if you can't make a left-handed layup at this level in basketball few keys to the game. Got to make your layups. Got to stay out of foul trouble. Got to make your free throws. As we hear the buzzer and the teams are getting ready to the bench. I'll tell you what, the Warriors have a level of enthusiasm we haven't seen from any of the other teams yet, except for maybe our own. We are moments away from tip off. The referee makes his way to center court, dribbling the ball, bouncing the ball, making sure it bounces. It does. And that's good. As always, that means we're ready to play. Thank you all for watching. This game should be a good one. Winner of today will play for the championship on Saturday. The Warriors have already made their way to the middle court. Looks like number 16 for the Warriors is gonna take the jump. Number 16 needs to check the ball to make sure it bounces too. 
Well, guess what, sir, it does. And we're ready to go. And here's our starting lineup. Madden will take the tip. And we are underway. The Warriors get the ball. Put up a shot, way off. Joaquin tries to get a rebound, doesn't get it. And it's gonna be called a jump, a foul. Not sure who the foul was called on, but it's gonna be Warriors ball. Held up two fingers, might have been a foul on Madden, not really sure. Could have also been a foul on Joaquin. Warriors inbound the ball. Gets it to number 15. Number 15 passes it to number eight. Number eight over to number 22, top of the key. Left side, almost deflected by Madden. Dri number 22 dribbling, looks like he's a little stuck. It's a back up top of the key, number 15. 15 swings it right side, number eight. Number eight drives in, nothing happening. What's the call? Gonna have a foul called. No. What's the call? Yes, foul call. I think he called it on Shane, but I'm not sure. As always, when we're in the end zone view, it's really hard to tell what's going on on the defensive side of things. Warriors throw up a shot, no good. Joaquin with a rebound. Joaquin dribbling up the right side. Gets into the basket, sees baseline, sees Shane across the way, left wing. Shane tries to pass it and nobody's there. Warriors looking like they're going to come up with it. They do. Long range from three, way off front of the rim. Joaquin gets the rebound, dribbling right side. Loses the ball. It's going to be Warriors ball. 0-0, zero, zero. game just started. Warriors with the ball, 15 dribbling, right side. Almost loses it, Madden deflects it, out of bounds, almost got the steal, it's gonna be Warriors ball. Inbound play. Warriors reverse layup off the rim, no good, Madden gets the rebound. Madden driving down left side, sees Joaquin streak into the basket, catches it, makes it, wow, great job. Madden with a wonderful touchdown pass. Joaquin catches it in stride, takes exactly two steps, lays it up. 2-0 lead for the Cavs. That looked like a travel. It doesn't travel, but Joaquin with a steal. That's like two rebounds, a steal, and a, and a bucket. Great job, Joaquin. Way to be off to a hot start. Jackson dribbles left side, sees Roman. Roman drives in, puts it up. Off the rim, no good. Good shot, though. Nice try. Warriors get the rebound. Number eight dribbling up. Number eight passes it to number 15, right side, back to number 22. Number 22, a little through the legs, crossover, picks up his dribble, stolen by Madden, block, nope. Number 22 gets it back, puts it up, left hand to layup, good. Tie game. The Warriors tie the game. Game just underway, about three minutes underway. 2-2 two, two game. The Warriors were the number one defense this year. Cavs were number two. Madden dribbling, gets it to Jackson. Jackson back to Madden. Madden gives a little head fake, drives in, puts it up one-handed. Oh, doesn't get it to fall. Shane, big rebound under the basket, doesn't get it to fall. Joaquin rebound, throws it up. Warriors get the rebound. No, Roman steals it right from him, puts it in. Oh, Roman. He, Warriors number 15 gets the rebound. Roman said, I'll take that ball. Ripped it out of his hands, puts it right up. Cavs with a two-point lead, 4-2. Nice job, Roman. Huge defensive play. The Cavs defense has been outstanding all year. They're starting with their guard performance by both Jackson and Roman dominating the steals. Warriors throw it up, another miss. They still have the ball. Jackson with the steal. He read it. He's driving down the court, layup, puts it in. Oh, misses the layup. Shane there for the rebound. Great job, Shane, way to follow. Jackson with a fantastic steal. Couldn't quite convert, but that's why you always follow the shots and make sure it goes in. Warriors dribbling it up, number 22, a little crossover through the legs. Up, oh, he's gonna get trapped, Roman almost steals it, knocks it out of bounds, great defense, Roman. Warriors trying to get something going. Six to two lead, four point lead for the Cavs. 15 minutes to go, first half. Warriors trying to throw it in, throws it right to Roman who steals it, dribbles down right side, layup, puts it up, and it's good. Roman with another steal and a bucket. Defense wins championships, boys. That's what they say, and that's what we're seeing. 
Warriors with the ball, down six, eight to two Cavs. 15 minutes to go, first half. Warriors, number one, drives in, throws it up off the rim, no good. Rebound, Jackson comes down with it. Jackson runs the court, running the layup, puts it up off the glass, no good. Cuff, Jackson wanted a foul call. It looked like he was hacked, but it wasn't called by the ref. I want to say hi to my beautiful, lovely wife, Layla, who I think has joined us. And Roman siblings, Dylan and Kaya, if you guys are there too, we love you very much. We go to timeout here. Cavs off to a hot start, eight to two, the six point lead. Joaquin's got a couple rebounds, a steal, and some shots. Roman had two key steals and baskets. So far, we've had some fantastic play. And by the Cavs, at least. So the Warriors were the number one defensive team this year. They held their opponents to under 23 points a game. Good for number one in the league. Meanwhile, on the court next to us, we've got the Bearcats versus the Bulldogs. And right now, and early, it looks like the Bearcats are winning 9-3. The winner of our game plays the winner of that game. If the scores hold, and whoa, it's way too early to decide that. But if the scores hold, we would play the Bearcats in the championship. And we all know how much fun that would be. But I'm getting way ahead of myself. We are at a timeout. Five minutes gone by, first half. Cavs with a six-point lead, 8-2. to two. Hi Dylan, hi Kaya, hi Layla. Glad you could watch. All right, we're back underway. The Warriors dribbling the ball up. Aaron Shoes has the ball. That's player number one for the Warriors. Looks like he carried it, doesn't get the call. Can't turn your hand over and holding the ball in the air anyway. Passes it right side, 37, drives in, puts it off the glass, no good. No good, 37 tries to get the rebound. They're gonna be a jump ball. Jump ball, possession arrow, Cavs, Cavs ball. 14 minutes, 30 seconds to go. Cavs with a six point lead, eight to two. Cavs in control, Jackson sees Roman. Roman, oh, throws it. Great defensive play by number one. Number one, who's not very tall, but man, he jumped up, got that block. Stole the ball in a pretty effective form. Looks like we're getting ready for some substitutions. EJ, Brian, and Max are going to check into the game. Shane, Roman, and Joaquin are going to come out. Warriors inbound the play, almost throw it away, get it to 37, bricks it off the backboard, gets his own rebound. They're going to call a foul. Foul on number five. It looks like they called a foul on Max on that play. Warriors inbounding it under the Cavs basket, trying to get it in, and they couldn't get it in. That's a turnover. Cavs ball. Either a five-second violation, a lane violation, doesn't matter. Cavs are really good at defending the inbound pass, and they just proved it. Cavs ball up six, 13 minutes, 20 seconds to go, first half. Jackson, top of the key, sees EJ right side. EJ back to Jackson, Jackson to Max. Max left side to Brian. Brian. Dribbles a couple times. Number one almost gets another steal. That kid is a beast on the defensive side, I can tell you right now. Gonna get a timeout called by the Warriors, I believe. So far, we've seen number one for the Warriors. His defensive prowess is pretty strong. Do not try to sneak a pass by him. Go to timeout. Clock is ticking, 13 seconds to go. Cavs with an 8-2 lead. They lead by six. Meanwhile, the Bearcats have a 14-3 lead. The Bearcats are up by 11 early in their game. Whoa. Want to say thank you to everyone for all the support you've been. The feedback you give all of the players, parents, grandparents, making it possible for you to watch, saving the $10 entry fee. Makes it fun for me, and I appreciate it. All right, timeout is over. Looks like we're going to get back onto the court here. Looks like it's going to be Cavs ball. 13 minutes to go, first half. Cavs with a six-point lead. Jackson sees EJ on the right side. Back to Jackson. Jackson dribbles. 
pulls up his dribble back to EJ. EJ sees Madden. Madden drives baseline, puts it up off the front of the rim. No good. Warriors get the rebound. No call. Good non-call by the ref. Madden full court pressing. Let's not pick up a foul, though. Number one gets away with it. Gets it to 15. 15 drives down right side. Puts it. Nope. Gets a pass off. Brian rips it from his hand. Oh, man. I'm not sure who got the foul call, but the Warriors got the rebound, and Brian just ripped it right out of his hand. Nice job, Brian, with the steal. Max comes driving in, puts it up off the glass, and it almost fell. That was a crazy shot. That would have been insane. Warriors get their rebound. Still a six-point lead for the Cavs. Brian with the rebound struggle. Nope, no rebound. It's going to be a jump ball call. Possession arrow pointing to the Warriors. Warriors will get the ball out. They're going to have a substitution as number 22 checks in for number 15. Warriors, number 22 from long range. Air ball. No, not an air ball. Hits the front of the rim. Up, oh, number one jumps up, passes it to 22. 22 tries to get in. Number one way behind the three-point line. Doesn't shoot it. Almost loses the ball. It's on the ground. It's a scrum. Nope. Warriors come up with it. EJ trying to steal it. EJ doesn't quite get it. What pressure. This is a tenacious defense. And finally, the Warriors manage to put in a basket. Number 16 drives the hoop, puts it in for two. It's an 8-4 game. It's a four-point lead for the Cavs. All right, Cavs driving down. Max sees Bryan, left side, wide open, swish, nothing but net. Bryan picking right up where he left off yesterday. Bryan tied Madden for the team high, eight points yesterday. Off the bench, too, I might add, and he's coming on strong right from the beginning. It's a 10-4, six-point lead halfway through the first half. In other words, a quarter away through the game if you're good at math. Warriors trying to get something going. 16 drives down, puts it up off the front of the rim. No good. And EJ comes up with a rebound. I love it when EJ comes up with a rebound. But looks like it's actually going to be Warriors ball out of bounds. They throw it, and it's a turnover as Brian steals it. Brian driving down. Nope, slows down, takes a crossover, dishes it to Madden. Madden somehow gets it to Max, who puts it off the glass. Oh, doesn't go in. What a crazy sequence. Rebounded by the Warriors. Halfway through, or 10 minutes to go in the first half. The Cavs clinging to a six-point lead. Not really clinging, but they have a six-point lead. Jackson almost gets a steal. EJ... Oh, I thought he was going to call the foul, but no, his defensive pressure caused a turnover as the Warriors double dribbled, which is a traveling violation. It looks like we're going to have a substitution. Jack checks into the game. And it looks like Jack checks into the game for EJ. Warriors with the ball. Warriors driving in, puts it up off the hoop. No air ball. Rebound by Brian. Brian gets it to Jackson. Jackson drives right side. Great defense by number one. Oh, Jack steals it. Yeah, Jack took it right from him. So number one made a great steal, got it to his own player. But Jack said, uh-uh, not in my house. Took the ball away, made a basket. Huge defensive play by Jack. Great basket. Cavs with an eight-point lead, 12-4, nine minutes to go, first half. Number one gets it to number 15, long range. They are missing those shots. Rebound by Max. Max sees Jack right side. Jack layup, puts it up off the glass. Oh, misses the layup. Gets his own rebound. No, throws it away. Number 22 picks it up. Number 22, an unnecessary through the legs crossover. Almost loses the ball. Gets it to 37, back to 15. Puts it up off the rim. No good. Cavs with the rebound. Up, oh, fighting for the rebound. No but it looks like when the Warriors were trying to get the rebound, their foot was on the out-of-bounds line. That's going to be Cavs' ball. Eight minutes, 20 seconds to go. Cavs winning 12-4. All right. Brian dribbling an unnecessary through the legs crossover. Doesn't hurt. Jackson hits it. Jackson. Jackson drives in. Floater off one hand. No. Off the front of the rim. 15 with the rebound, and he throws it out of bounds. So even when the Warriors are getting the ball on a rebound, on a defensive rebound, the pressure of our team is forcing turnovers. 
Madden about to throw it in from out of bounds. Gets sees Jackson, top left. Jackson dribbles to the right, dribbles to the right. Checks, looks at his offense. Looks at his offense, gets it to Max. Max gives a little fake, drives in, one-handed swish. Whoa, Max is an offensive force. Great shot, Max. That was a nice shot there, nice move. Gave a little fake left, went right, drove the basket, good for two. That's a 10-point lead for the Cavs. Jackson almost comes up with another steal. Oh, Jack pressure, no, Max pressuring it. Jackson pressuring, Jackson does get the steal. Gets it to Max. What a sequence, Max drives in, layup, one-handed. Oh, throws it off the rim, misses again. And we're gonna get a call. Looks like it's gonna be a Warriors ball. I think it was out of bounds off the deflection. It might've been a foul, I'm not sure. All right, Warriors gonna inbound the ball under their own basket. There they go, number five. I now realize there's two kids with the bright orange shoes. One is number five, one is number one. They both play some level of guard. Number 22 passes it all the way across the court to number eight. Number 22, long range air ball. Whoa, that was way off. Man, it was like he was shooting in a different basket or something. Maybe that's why our coach doesn't let us shoot threes. We shot threes like that, I don't blame him. Of course we don't, we're better than that. But anyway, 15-4, 11 point lead for the Cavs. Six minutes to go, first half. Looks like Roman getting ready to check in. Jackson sees Jack on the left hand side. Jack, back to Jackson. Jackson finds Max. Max drives in, nope. Oh. What's gonna be the call? Not sure what the call is. We got a sub. Roman is gonna come in for Max. Looks like it's gonna be Cavs ball under the Warriors basket. Roman's gonna take the inbound. Roman looking for a pass, he's Jackson. What a great pass. Oh, make that shot, Jackson. I know you know it. Warriors come up with the rebound and Brian gets the steal. Read that like a, oh, read that so well. And that's gonna be a foul called on the floor. Pushing foul on the Warriors, I think. I think. Looks like it's gonna be Cavs ball, yes. Cavs ball, Roman with another inbound play. Cavs with a, an 11 point lead, 15 to four. Roman sees Jack right under the basket. Oh, great pass, an assist by Roman and a basket by Jack. I tell you, those two have been a great tandem during this season. And meanwhile, a turnover, Jackson steals the ball. Jackson sees Brian, Brian gets hammered. And I'm not saying that because his last name is Hammerstrand, I'm saying that because he literally got hammered by number 16 as he limps up. That was a flagrant foul, not called flagrant though, as Brian makes it to the line trying to shoot. Oh no, it's not a shooting foul. That's rough. Man, that was a hell of a foul. Looks like they're gonna have to sub Brian out. I don't know, man. You can't be murdering people when they try to get a basket. That's not cool at all. Shane is gonna check in for Brian. Four minutes to go, first half. Cavs winning 16 to four. Roman inbound play, sees Jackson cutting in. Oh, a little bit late. Oh, and Roman steals the ball, puts it up, get in. Oh, misses it. Roman got the steal, but couldn't make the basket. Shane gets the, nope, no steal by Shane. Number 37, up. Oh, Roman almost gets another steal, doesn't. Number nine, come out, comes up with the drives down. Wild throw, nothing even close. Jackson with a rebound. Looks like Hunter has also checked into the game. Cavs with the ball. Roman gets it to Jack. Middle of the court, Jackson dribbling down. Right side, looks at a spin move, gets it to Shane. Shane tries to power his way down, nothing happening. Hunter on the ground trying to fight for a rebound. It's gonna be a jump ball, Cavs. Good job, Hunter. Oh no, they're gonna say that's the Warriors ball. No, no, that's what I thought. Nice try, Davy Crockett, number 22. Is not, his name is not Davy, his last name is Crockett, so I'm definitely making stuff up. Roman, inbound play. Sees Jackson, open top of the key, puts it up, a little one-handed shot off. Hunter grabs the board, puts it up, no good. Jackson steals it, puts it up, no good. Come on, guys, let's make a shot. Oh, Warriors get the rebound. Three minutes to go, first half. Cavs winning 16 to four.
And that's going to be a double dribble traveling violation on the Warriors. It's going to be Cavs ball. Looks like the Warriors are calling for some subs. Possibly a timeout. Yes. Timeout on the floor. Coach giving some advice to Shane and Roman. Some good advice. Cavs looking really strong so far. Under three minutes to go in the first half. Cavs with a 12-point lead, 16 to 4. All right. Inbound play, far side. Cavs ball. Jackson drives up, sees Hunter. Hunter does a job corral. Does a great job corralling the pass. Gets it back to Jackson. Jackson sees Jack left side, saves it. Jack drives in. Oh, good fake, good pass. Hunter, pump fake. Got a foul. Great job, Hunter. Got pump fake. Then went up, drew the foul. Goes to the line, shooting two. Hunter shooting two. Two minutes to go. First half. Cavs with a 12-point lead. First shot for Hunter. Misses front of the rim. Madden's going to check into the game. Madden's in for Shane. This is Hunter's second shot. Under two minutes to go. First half, Cavs the 12 point lead. Hunter off the rim, doesn't fall. Warriors with the rebound. Number 22, a little through the legs, picks up his dribble, almost stolen by Roman. Roman's defense has been so good. Oh, almost comes up with the ball again. This, they are not handling the pressure well. And when I say they, I mean the Warriors. The Cavs, on the other hand, and that is not. Looks like we've got a, a foul on the Cavs, but it wasn't a shooting foul. So it's going to be a Warriors ball under the basket, under the Cavs basket. One minute, 10 seconds left in the first half. Warriors inbound the play. Jackson steals it again. Oh, but his foot was out of bounds. His foot was on the line out of bounds when he stole it. It's a great play, but there's not a lot of room on these courts. These are small courts. Warriors throwing it away. And that is Roman comes up with the ball. What? It, no, it bounced out of bounds first. <laughs> the roll, ball was rolling toward the out of bounds, but hadn't made it out of bounds. Roman saw that, saw that it wasn't out of bounds. Like, well, if no one's going to take it, I'm going to go take it. Ran up, tried to get it, but it looks like the ref is going to say, nope, went out of bounds. It's going to be Warriors ball. And it's off the Warriors foot. And now it's going to be Cavs ball. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's halftime in the Bearcats Bulldogs game. It's 31 19 Bearcats. Bearcats with a 12 point lead. They hold on. They're in the championships against the winner of our game. Jackson sees Madden. Madden, who gets a spin move, loses his balance. No foul. Number one back in the game. He's dribbling. He's pretty fast. But he loses the ball to Brian, who comes up with a big steal. Brian gets it to Jack. Jack drives in. He's got Madden right side. Good pass, Jack. Oh, missed the layup. It's all right, Madden. I know you know it. You got to make that. And there's no one who will take responsibility more than Madden. As I always say, take responsibility and give credit. It's a rule to any sport life. All right, we got halftime. And the Cavs are winning big. Winning 16-4 with a 12-point lead at half. We make your, we're going to make our way to the other side of the court. Sixteen to four. We got twenty minutes left to play. Winner gets to the championship. Coach giving some pointers to the team. The crowd is here. The Cavs fans ready for a win. We want to see ourselves in a championship game. There we go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. As we get our position set on the other side, waiting for the game to start. Take you to a little bit of Bearcats Bulldogs action. While we're in timeout, we're at halftime. Cavs have a lead, 12 point lead. Over here, you've got the other semifinal matches the Bearcats versus the Bulldogs. And right now, that second half just started, and the Bearcats have a 10 point lead. But the Bulldogs just got to stop and are going to get the ball back. Anyway, let's talk about our game. Our game is pretty awesome. We've held the Warriors to four first half points. You know, in baseball, they say that defense wins championships. I think they might have to say that about basketball, too. Remember, the Warriors came in as the number one defensive team, holding their opponents to a league high, or low as the case may be, on 22 and a half points a game. 
Well, today it's the Cavs defense that's been OP. The Cavs defense has held the Warriors to four first half points. All right, second half underway. Warriors ball, number one dribbling. Number one dribbling. He has a little bit of a carry dribble, but they're not calling it at all. Oh, stolen by Shane almost, but he stepped on the out-of-bounds line. Shane almost jumped the steal. It's a great defensive play, but he did step on the out-of-bounds line. Now on this court, the out-of-bounds lines are in yellow and a little bit easier to see than in the last court where they were that weird light green-gray color. Anyway, Shane almost gets another steal. Warriors drive in, and they're going to call a foul. No. Yes, they are going to call a foul. Looks like it's a foul on Shane, number 15. Warriors inbounding the ball under the Cavs basket. Gets it out to eight. At to one, little, little pump fake, and they're going to go give a pump fake. He got a little blocking foul on Jackson. He tried to go around him. Jackson just clipped him. Warriors try to inbound the play. Jackson punches it out of bounds. Jackson thinks we're playing volleyball for a split second. Doesn't matter. It's a good defensive play. Warriors with the ball. Second half just underway. Cavs still up 12, 16 to 4. Warriors inbounding the ball or trying to. Almost ran out of time. Roman gets the steal. Roman gets the steal. Looking for a good dribble. Oh, it's rolling on the ground. Come up with that ball, guys. Come up with that ball, guys. Ref blocking your view. I can't really see it. Warriors somehow get it streaking to the layup. Oh, man. And the Warriors make a basket. And what are we going to get? We had a timeout called by the Cavs. Coach not happy with that. All right, it is. Did they change 16 to 6 now? So it's a 10 point lead for the Cavs. 18 minutes, 18 seconds left in the first half. Coach is trying to get some excitement built back up by the Cavs team. Cavs started out so strong. They're having a little bit of difficulty now, but. I'm not worried. Cavs are way too good for this. We are getting ready to the timeout. Meanwhile, the Bearcats are winning by eight against the Bulldogs. We are coming out of timeout. You see the Warriors coming out of their huddle first. Cavs coming out of their huddle second. And it looks like it's gonna be the Cavs ball under their own basket. Joaquin inbounds it to Jackson. Jackson dribbles up, sets up the offense. Jackson sees Shane on the right-hand side. Little fake left, goes up, puts it up, off the rim. No good, Roman tries to get the rebound. Couldn't quite get it, goes out of bounds. Nice try, it's gonna be Warriors ball. Coach wanted Shane to pass that ball. Warriors, number five, dribbling. I'm sorry, number one, dribbling. Gets it to 37. Shane up on pressing defense. Back to number eight. Crossover, drives in. Roman almost gets another steal. From long range, no good. Can the Cavs get a rebound? Another missed shot by the Warriors. Hustling. Madden saves it. No, he stepped on the line. Nice try. Madden almost saved it to Joaquin, but his foot was on the line when he touched it. That is going to be Warriors ball. Warriors ball. Number one gets it, swings it over to number eight. Number eight dribbling. Dribbling right. Picks up his dribble. Gets it to 37. 37 over left side of one. One from long range. Way off front of the rim. Madden gets the rebound. Madden driving, little crossover, takes it to the hoop, puts it up, swish. Oh, man. Good job, Madden. His mobility and agility got him all the way across the court quickly as he made the two, and that is another 12-point lead for the Cavs. 16 minutes, 40 seconds to go. Cavs winning 18-6. to six. Number eight throws up another long-range shot. Just barely hits the backboard. But the Warriors get their own rebound. Number 22 sees number one over to number eight. Gives a little head fake like he's going to shoot. Doesn't. Throws it way off. Warriors get their own rebound. Throws it again way off. Madden gets the rebound. Madden 
a little move. Whoop. Oh, Madden, a little extra step there. A little extra step there. Yeah, it was a nice move, but that little third step, tried to sneak it in, couldn't get away with it. That's a good call by the ref. That's a good call by the ref. We have some pretty good officiating here. All right, Warriors ball. Cavs up 12, 18 to 6, 15 minutes to go, second half. Number one swings it over to number eight. Number eight swings it back to number 15. Number 15 over to number 37. Number 37 drives baseline. Throws up a brick off the backboard. Rebound by Max. Max sees Brian streaking in. Brian puts up the layup off the glass. Toilet ball in the hole. That's right. The basket is good. Go, Brian. And it's a 14-point lead for the Cavs. 15 minutes to go. Warriors throw it up off the backboard. No good. It's going to be Cavs ball. Oh, let's go Cavs. Let's go Cavs. And the ball rolls its way all the way across the court. Meanwhile, it's a 33-26 game. Bearcats now with a seven-point lead. Looks like that could end up being a close game in the end. In the meantime, Jackson is dribbling, dribbling left, right side. See Shane. Shane sees Madden doesn't do it. Dribbles, picks up his dribble, passes it to Madden. Madden drives in, puts it up, swish. Oh, wow. Madden's ability to drive in, pull up, and make a short jumper is phenomenal. He gets it. It's good. And that's a 16-point lead for the Cavs, 22-6. to six. Warriors make a basket. They get it over to number 15, puts up a short-range jumper. And that's going to be 22-8, to 14-point lead for the Cavs. 14 minutes to go. Jackson right side, sees Shane who gets the ball ripped out of his hands by David Crockett. Number 22 gets it to number eight. Number eight puts up a layup off the glass, good. He did a good job of protecting the ball with his body and made the layup. Cavs the ball, 14 minutes to go. Cavs with a 12 point lead. Brian showing his dribbling skills, pulls up, puts it up, oh, but Max gets the rebound. A little reverse loop-de-loop -loop layup. Brian gets the rebound and gets fouled. Brian's going to go to the line for two. Good rebounding, guys. Brian's going to go to the line shooting two. Cavs with a 12-point lead. 13 and a half minutes to go in the game. Brian, first shot, makes it. Brian continuing his hot streak from yesterday. As Shane comes out and Jack checks in for Shane. Brian makes both. Good job, Brian. Way to make your free throws. 14-point lead for the Cavs. Warriors number five dribbling. Left side sees number eight. Long range. Chucks it off the rim. Miss. Man. Madden came up with the rebound after a little scuffle. Oh no, they're gonna call a foul on 11. They're gonna call a foul on Madden. Number 22 got knocked to the ground. It looks like he hit his nose on the ground. He's trying to shake it off. It's gonna be Cavs, nope, no. It's gonna be Warriors ball. They're calling a foul. That was a foul on Madden. It's gonna be Warriors ball. Number 15 tries to get it in, does. Gets it into five. He almost steps out of bounds, doesn't. Gets it to eight. A strong defense by Madden. Brian almost deflects it. Actually, he does deflect it. I should say he almost stole it. Instead, he deflected it out of bounds. It's going to be the Warriors' ball. Cavs with a 14-point lead. 12 minutes to go. And we're going to get a foul. Reach in foul on Max. The inbound pass went to number 22. Max fouled him. Now 22 is trying to inbound it again. Chucks it to number 8. And his foot was on the line. Good call, ref. He was right there. Ref was in position. Saw his foot was on the line. Max forces the turnover, and it's Cavs' ball. Cavs' ball, Jackson at the point, dribbling right side, sees Max left side. Max back to Jackson. Jackson sees Brian in the corner. Oh, it's a slow pass, and it gets intercepted by number 29. Gets it to number five. Number five loses the ball. Jackson with another steal. Jackson, left side layup. Great bounce pass to Brian. Oh, couldn't convert. What do we got? We're gonna get a we're gonna get a, a foul called on who? Oh, they're gonna they're gonna say Warriors ball. I'm not sure who that foul was on. 
Warriors ball, number eight dribbling right side. Max deflects it out of bounds, almost steals it again. We've got a lot of steals as we always do. Brian comes up with the ball, looks like a steal. He sees Jack, he's got a layup, a foul, and one, no and one, but great job. What a read, Brian saw Jack wide open under the basket. And just like yesterday when Brian had a whole bunch of assists, sorry, and just like yesterday, Brian's pass to Jack converts. Great basket, Cavs 16 point lead, 10 minutes to go, first half. Warriors get their own missed shot or rebound, number eight puts it up, and it goes. That's gonna be 12 points, 26 to 12. 10 minutes, 30 seconds left. Cavs up 14, Jackson sees Max. Max sees Madden in the middle, sees Brian. Great pass by Brian to Jack who draws a foul. Great job, good vision. Brian who got the ball and immediately saw that he had an open layup with Jack under the basket, got him to Jack. Jack put it up and was hammered. Drew the foul, is gonna go to the line shooting two. 10 minutes to go. Cavs up 14, Jack's first shot. Get in, ah, uh, just missed, it was close. All right, Jack, his second shot. That is nothing but net, great shot, Jack. It is a 15 point lead, 27-12, Cavs winning. Nine minutes, 30 seconds left. Number one dribbling, dribbling, sees number 16 left hand side, gets it to number 15, number 15 and number 37, 37 gets it down to number 16, number 16 drives in, Madden just puts his hands up, great defense, no fouls, Max with the rebound, Max driving the court, oh that looked like a reach in on the Warriors, doesn't get the call, Warriors get the ball back, and Brian with a steal, puts it up off the glass, good, oh! And one, and one, Brian with a huge play. Gets the steal, makes the layup, gets hammered, goes up, going up for it, gets knocked to the ground. And he's gonna go to the line to try to make it a three point play. The Cavs are up 17, 29, 12. Eight minutes, 45 seconds left. EJ checks in for Max. Hunter checks in for Madden. And Brian makes the three-point play. Another huge game for Brian. The Cavs winning 30 to 12, and that's a timeout. Timeout, Cavs with an 18-point lead. Eight minutes, 25 seconds to go in the game. Wow, these Cavs came to play. Warriors may have been the number one seed, but Cavs are saying, ah, not so fast. Cavs came in as the lowest seed or the highest seed, depending on how you look at it, the lowest ranked seed. In other words, they came in as the number five seed that are still playing today. We've got the two and three seed playing across the court. That's the Bearcats and the Bulldogs, and it's now a four point game. A four point game, the Bearcats are clinging to a four point lead. So that's the two and the three seed. The Warriors with the one seed. The Cavs, the underdogs, if you will, were the number five seed. They already beat the number four seed, and now they're playing the number one seed. So it's Cavs with an 18 point lead, 30 to 12, eight minutes, 20 seconds to go in the second half. And the Bulldogs just brought it within two. Bearcats now only have a two point lead. All right, we're out of timeout. We're going to have Jackson and EJ in the backcourt. Looks like Jack's going to play center. We're going to have Hunter and Brian on the wings. Warriors ball. Number eight dribbling up right side. Sees number 37 baseline. 37 passes it back to number one. Number one. Back to number eight. Number eight thinks about a three. Doesn't take it. That's smart the way those guys have been shooting. Jack almost gets a steal. Instead, he forces a turnover. And that's a traveling violation on the Warriors. That's going to be Cavs' ball. Good defense, Jack. EJ going to inbound the ball far side. EJ gets Brian, gets it to him. Brian, he's really fast. Good luck catching him. Brian sees Hunter under the basket. Fouled, no call. And Jack, that's an over-the-back re- That's an over-the-back foul, Jack. I appreciate the enthusiasm and the effort. Wanted the ball bad. 
but he didn't have position. Gets called for the over the back. Seven minutes, 36 seconds to go. Cavs up by 18, 30 to 12. And it's a turnover. I don't know, maybe a traveling violation, maybe an out of bounds. I am not sure, but that is a turnover by the Warriors and it's Cavs ball. And now it's a turnover by the Cavs. Looks like uh, on the inbound play, we stepped on the line and now it's gonna be Warriors ball. All right. Warriors inbounded to number one. Number one sees number 22. Number 22 puts it up. No, it looks like he almost got rejected. May have gotten rejected. And what do we have? Looks like a foul on Jack. It was on the ground, so that's not gonna be a shooting foul. Number 22 getting ready for the inbound play. Looks like we're gonna have some substitutions. Madden and Roman are gonna check into the game for Brian and Jack. And Max is gonna check in the game for Hunter. So now we've got EJ and Max and Jackson, Roman and Madden on the court. And we have a whistle. Oh, that's because it's going to be one and one. The refs, so there was a foul. The refs wanted to check to see if we were in the bonus or if the uh, Warriors were in the bonus. They are. That means that there's been at least seven team fouls in this half. And the Warriors are going to go to the line with a one and one. They shot. They get one shot. If they make it, they get another. If they miss it, it's in play. Let's get a rebound. That's way off. Rebound by Madden. Great job, Madden. In, gets the inside position. Gets the rebound, sees Jackson with a heck of a pass. Jackson gets fouled, couldn't quite make the basket. That was a hard foul though. That's tough to make it. And Jackson's gonna go to the line shooting too. For those of us, for those of you who've joined us late, welcome. Cavs are winning, five minutes, 40 seconds left. Cavs have an 18 point lead, 30 to 12. Jackson getting ready for his second shot. Five minutes, 25 seconds left. Cavs, 30 to 12 lead. Jackson puts it up off the rim. Two bounces, doesn't fall. Warriors get their rebound. 16 sees eight. Eight goes down right side. Wisely slows it down. There were too many Cavs in his way. Gets it to 22, chucks it up. Way off, well not way off, but it was off. Rebounded again by the Warriors. Another missed shot. These guys cannot make a basket, but 16, uh, number 16 does some work under the basket. A good rebound and cuts the lead to 16. EJ drives in off the glass, couldn't convert. Nice play, EJ Roman almost gets the steal, does get the steal, tips it to EJ. EJ comes up with it, gets it to Max. Max chucks it up one-handed off the rim. Roman with a great rebound. Roman sees Jackson. Oh, Roman is locked down defense out there. Gets it to Jackson, Jackson over to EJ. EJ sees Madden cutting to the middle, a little bit late, couldn't handle it. Warriors get the ball back. We're in a one-on-one -on -one situation. As you just heard from behind me, no fouls. Any foul sends them to the free throw line. We don't want that. Oh, they, Warriors get the basket and the foul. They're gonna go to the, that's gonna count. That's a two point basket for number 37. He's gonna go to the line with a chance to make it a three. There is four minutes to go in the game. The current score on the scoreboard is 30 to 16. Cavs, 14 point lead. Warriors miss, but 16 gets the rebound. It's going to be a jump ball. Good job, Jackson. Way to get a jump ball. What's the possession arrow say? Possession arrow is going to be... So every time there's a jump ball, unlike the NBA where you actually jump it, when there's a jump ball, it alternates possession. Whoever got the last one, well, the other team gets this one. So in this case, it looks like it's going to be Cavs ball. Madden inbound play sees Jackson. Jackson back to Madden. Oh, it looked like he got fouled. No call. Jackson comes in, gives a little push to number eight, who missed the layup. Number eight's going to go to the line shooting two. That's not a bad foul necessarily. But it looks like Max is going to check in for Jackson. Nope. How many people we got on the court? All right. Max came in. Not exactly sure who came out. <laughs> Number eight on the line, missed it, made the first, missed the second. It's a 13 point lead for the Cavs. Madden gets the rebound. Oh, gets it stolen away from number 16, who gets a, who puts it right back up for two. It's an 11 point game, two minutes, 45 seconds to go. Cavs up 30 to 19. EJ with the ball dribbling. 
Almost loses it, doesn't. Roman comes up with the ball. What's the call? Timeout. Coach calls timeout. Smart call. Called it while we still had the ball, so it's going to be Cavs' ball. Two minutes, 39 seconds to go in the game. Cavs with an 11 point lead. Meanwhile, as I look over my shoulder, there's two minutes left in the other game and the Bulldogs have taken a four point lead and are now beating the Bearcats with two minutes to go. It's still a close game, but it looks like the Bulldogs might be able to pull it off. And I can see from the looks on the Bearcats fa players' faces, they're kind of angry. They kind of look like that one dad who sat on the sidelines getting angry. They don't want their season to end. Frankly, I'm not sure I want it to end either. I'd rather play them in the finals. But we're getting way ahead of ourselves. Two minutes, 39 seconds left. Cavs with an 11 point lead in this all important semifinals game. Winner plays next Saturday for the championship. We are getting ready to come out of the timeout. We are out of the timeout. Ball is going to be inbounded on the side. It's going to be Cavs ball. Looks like Roman's going to take the inbound. Roman, Jackson, and Max. Madden and Brian are on the court right now. Roman sees Jackson on a great pass. Jackson sees Brian wide open. It's a good shot to take. Doesn't make it, but I like the shot. Warriors with the ball. Gets it to number one. Number one dribbling. Dribbling right side. Finds number eight. Number eight thinks about a shot. Doesn't take it. Layup off the glass. Good shot. That's a good layup. It's a nine-point lead. They've cut it to nine. Two minutes, 15 seconds to go. Cavs get Max. Great pass to Brian. Brian loses the ball to number 37. Warriors get the ball back. Warriors, number eight. Looks like he's going to take a shot. Misses. Max with a rebound. Max. He's got the rebound. He's got room. Puts it up off the rim it, under two minutes we got one minute 50 seconds to go Warriors with the ball Warriors almost giving it away number 22 looking for a shot good defense no foul no foul traveling violation excellent call excellent call Brian was about to say what I didn't foul him and you're right you didn't foul him you moved out of the way and Crockett wasn't ready and he slipped and fell on the ground that's Cavs ball one minute 41 seconds to go Cavs the nine point lead. And Jackson almost loses the ball. It gets deflected out of bounds by the Warriors. The Warriors defense again by number one. He is a really, really good defender. It's really difficult to dribble around him. Inbound play. Roman's going to inbound it. Sees Jackson open. Jackson dribbles up left hand side. They've trapped him with two people. He needs some help. He has it. He gets it to Madden. Madden has Joaquin wide open on the basket. Good. That's exactly the kind of help we need. That's heads up basketball. When you get stuck, pass it to the open man. Roman almost another steal as he tries to punch it out of there. Number eight chucks it up off the rim. No good. Fighting for the rebound. It's going to be deflected out of bounds by the Cavs. Warriors ball. One minute, 13 seconds to go. Cavs up 11, 32 to 21. Number eight, air ball. That was way off. Better check your zip code because you're not even in the right city when you shoot that. One minute, five seconds to go. Cavs with an 11 point lead, 32 21. Jackson with the ball gets it to Roman. Roman sees Madden. Under a minute to go. Brian drives through off the rim. No good. Joaquin tries to come with a rebound. Doesn't. It goes out of bounds. It's going to be Warriors ball. We are 53 seconds away from getting into the championship. Warriors with the ball. Number one dribbling right side. Warriors need something to happen fast. Chucks it up one handed. He's foul with a pushing foul. Jackson not happy with the call. They're going to call it. They're calling it on Jackson. A push foul. A pushing foul. He's going to go to the line. I think shooting two, but I'm not 100% sure. That might be five fouls on Jackson, though. Looks like he's going to foul out. Oh, it's a running clock. No, they're stopping the clock. They're trying to put the clock at the exact right time. Wait. Why is the clock running? I'm unclear what's happening. It's, the scoreboard is showing 32 to 21 for the Cavs. The clock showed about 20 seconds left. Warriors make their first. So in our league, it has to be a close game for the clock to stop, I believe. Makes, nope, misses the second. Madden gets the rebound, comes up with a rebound. 
Madden gets to Max, 40 seconds to go in the game. What's the call? Timeout. Smart call by coach. We've got a timeout on the side. Cavs ball with a 10 point lead, 30 seconds to go. Roman sees Brian wide open. Brian drives in off the glass and it almost goes in. He gets the foul. Wow, that was, all right. That is not going to be an and one. That's going to be an on the ground, uh, a non-shooting foul. They're not in the bonus. It's going to be inbound play. Roman looks for somebody. Sees Madden top of the key. Smart pass. And what do we got? What's the call? Looks like they got a foul on the Warriors. They had to foul them because they're running out of time. Twenty-one seconds to go. Cavs up ten. We are 21 seconds away from playing in the championship. Roman sees Max. Max gets it to Brian, who's he's walking wide open. That's a foul. No foul called. Brian off the glass. He makes it. He had a really difficult angle and managed to make a key clutch basket. Eight seconds to go. Seven seconds to go. Five seconds to go. Four, three. Two, one, the Cavs win, the Cavs win. Final score, 34-24, and the Cavs, the underdog status, have beat the Warriors. They beat the number one seed, and they are now playing in the championship. Join us next Saturday. Join us next Saturday, about 4 p.m. for the championship. Let's go, Cavs! You're so annoying. <laughs> You're so annoying. Actually, as we turn to the other game with 38 seconds left, it looks like the Bearcats have, are about to lose their game. Uh, it is now a 10-point lead for the Bulldogs. All right, it looks like we may see the Bulldogs next week. Thank you for watching. The Cavs win. The Cavs win.